hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about ms word actions in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in the latest version of power automate desktop which is 2.41 a set of actions have been introduced for Microsoft Word. So in Actions pane, you can see that you have a set of actions related to Microsoft Word, which is Launch Word, Attached to Running Word, Save Word, and Close Word document, and Read Data from it. You can write to the Word document, and you can insert image in the Word document, and you can find and replace the text in the word document so first of all we are going to work with the launch word this action will help you to launch the word document in today's video we are going to work with this sample file which has some data right so i will close this word document and I will copy the file path. I will go to home and then I will click on copy path. I will minimize the file explorer. Now I will use launch word. Here you can see that in launch word we have the blank document and also we can specify the following document where you need to specify the file path so i will press ctrl plus v to paste the file path and i will remove the double quotes from the file path and then i will click on save if you want to apply some exception handling on this action you can click on on error and here you can specify your exception handling mechanism where you can specify the retry policy or if you want to set a variable or call another subflow for exception handling you can create a variable and also invoke a subflow from here for now i will leave it as it is and i will click on save if you notice that we have got an icon which is for suggested actions so this feature has been introduced in 2.41 version of the Power Automate desktop. So if you click on it, it will predict the actions using the artificial intelligence. As of now, this feature is in preview mode. So this is still being tested and is not available for production usage. As you can see that we could not find the related actions. For now, I will use this action which is read from word document and here you can see that you have word instance so instance has already been selected from this drop down because we only have one instance of the word document and here we have three options which is to read the doc data from the whole document or from the specific page or from the bookmark point for now what i will do is i will choose the whole document and the data will be stored in the word data variable i will click on save and then i will use the close word and then I will click on save so now what this is going to do is it will just read the data from the word document and data will be stored in the word data variable so execution has been completed successfully and if you see in the word data you have all the text you would have noticed that in my word document we had some images as well but that is not extracted 
only the text has been extracted and you can see the data type of it is text value now on this variable if you want to perform some string manipulation you can use the actions related to text so here you can use the trim text reverse text and if you want to replace some text from this word variable word data variable you can use these actions to manipulate over your text let's say you want to find or replace some text from your word document in that case you can use find and replace words in the word document and here you can see that word instance is already selected which means if you want to find some text from the document it will be found from the entire document right so this is directly going to work on the document that you have opened right so let's say i want to find the lorem ipsum and i want to replace it with ms word and here i will enable the all matches so as many matches will be found in the document those will be replaced with ms word if you want to use the wildcards you can also enable this option in that case you will be able to use the wildcards when you enable match case it will exactly match the text with the proper case of the data right so i will disable it and then i will click on save and i will put a breakpoint here and then i will click on run so that we can see the changes in the word document and now here you can see that it has changed the word which is which was lorem ipsum to ms word right You can see everywhere it has changed to ms word correct i will click on run next action and your word document will be closed i will delete this find and replace word actions and i will remove this read from word document now what i will do is i will change the mode I will make it as with a blank document and then what I will do is I will say write to word document and then here I will use hello word technical training and if you notice that here we have option to append a new line and also you have options too where you can write this text so you can define whether you want to write in the beginning of the word file or end of the word file or before or after the bookmark i will click on save and then i'll put a breakpoint here and then i will click on run and here you can see that it has written the text i will go back to the power automate desktop i will stop the bot or i will click on run next action so that it can close the document let's say you want to insert an image in the word document and here you can see that you have an option to insert the image from the clipboard right so what we are going to do is we will insert the image in the beginning of the word file and image is going to be inserted from the clipboard okay so i will delete this write to word document 
now what I will do is I will use a screenshot action from take a screenshot action I will choose foreground window and then here I will save this screenshot to the clipboard and then I will click on save now I will run the bot execution has reached to the breakpoint now I will open the word document and here you can see that the screenshot has been pasted in the word file I will go back to the power automate desktop and I will click on run next action so that it can close the document if insert image in word document is not working or it is not able to paste the screenshot in that case what you can do is you can delete this insert image in word and then you can go to mouse and keyboards and from here you can take send keys and from here you need to choose instance and handle and from here you will choose the word instance where you want to paste the screenshot and then click on insert modifier choose the left control and in this round bracket type the curly brackets and inside the curly bracket type capital V so control V will be used to paste the image and then I will click on save and then I will run the bot and here you can see that your screenshot has been pasted in the word document I will go back to the power automate desktop and then I will click on run next action so that the execution gets completed right so this is another way of pasting the screenshot in the word document if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question, please post it in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.